Hello, a warm welcome. We've dropped anchor here on the south coast of England at St. Mary's Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Southampton versus Everton. Number eight, James Ward Prozel. Number six, Oriol Romeo. Number 11, Nathan Rose at Murray Stadium. Enjoy the game. A game that on paper has a lot going for it. Everton get the proceedings underway. An effective challenge. Armstrong. Jay Adams. Well, Prowse might really be able to trouble them here. Now, Yanusi, very comfortable when in possession. Well, the fans are certainly having their say. Just listen to them. They thought that was a penalty. Townsend. maximum commitment and he's given away the corner now sending is in poor execution with regard to the corner Armstrong Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Johnny Charlison. This looks promising from Everton. Andre Gomes. Defensive efficiency personified. Throw ins given. Gomes on the ball, Richarlison. Is it going to be? The net is steering him in the face. In it goes, the opening goal in this contest. Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger, otherwise that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Ducure. Oh, a nice looking pass. He might be able to make it through. And a goal! The quick one, too. And they've turned this game on its head. Well, here it is again. And it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Everton goal. Well, a second goal for them here. Calvert 
Ward Prowse. Jay Adams. Ducure. Everton just couldn't hold the ball. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Ward Prowse. Could pull one back here. And the keeper stretching to deny him. Calvert Lewin. Townsend. On the ball, Coleman. Well, the stats don't lie. Everton have had a lot of possession, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Now, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Redmond. Oriol Romeo. Jay Adams. And possession lost, intercepted. Ward Prowse. El Yanusi. He might yet finish. And pulled back. Smuggled away. Jay Adams. And he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Calvert Lewin. Here is Andre Gomes. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Redmond. Armstrong. Ward Prowse. And he stopped them just when they looked menacing. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's having a tremendous game in attack, Stuart. Well, he scored good goals, but his all round play has been excellent. He looks like scoring every time he gets on the ball. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Oriol Romeu. And Nathan Redmond with it. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. How about the cross? Well, the last touch off the defender, so a corner coming up. But he's gone short with it. Redmond. Cuts it back. Ward Prowse. No possibilities in the centre. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Splendid tackle, and the outcome is a corner here. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Andre Gomez to be replaced by number six, Alan. Who's going to get on the end of it? It's not a particularly good corner there. Well, as those stats show us, 
Everton just haven't controlled the possession, but what they've done with it has been really good, and they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Chance here. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Covert Lewin. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Promising sequence. And options in the centre. Well, quite simply, the cross was too close to the keeper. quality defending really nice ball just unable to take advantage of that developing situation Calvert-Lewin this might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end Redmond. There's a slide draw pass. Still looking for space. And Yanusi. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Really closing him down. Gray. Alan. And now Dominic Carvert-Lewin. Ducouré. Effective challenge. And he keeps going. Really good challenge. This might be ideal for the counter. Richarlison. Ducouré, and now Alan. Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. Ten minutes left for play. Promising looking ball. Difficult to stop him. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Substitution time it is here. So the final whistle almost upon us, and this is not exactly what the home fans had in mind when they arrived at the ground today, Stuart. Well, they've been second best, that's for sure. And the main problem has been in midfield, where they've been overrun at times. They just haven't been able to get enough possession. It's not been a good performance today. And they've given them too much space. Redmond. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Richarlison Richarlison but ultimately up a cul-de-sac Elianusi Ward Prowse Redmond nicely timed tackle and there goes the final whistle disappointing for Southampton whatever way you look at it three points dropped you're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball, and then just a few mistakes at the back, and it's cost them. Poor performance all round.
And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stewart. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.